A special thank you to our main sponsor of the channel, Squarespace. More on that later in the video. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this week's video. This week's video is an update video and I have some cool stuff to show you. Some stuff I'm so excited about, I'm really proud of it. Also, it's pretty hot in here. This, I'm filming fresh and I have one more video to film after this and it's probably going to degrade somewhat. We're in about 33 degrees, which doesn't seem like much, but it is a lot when you've got to film, you have lights on you as well. And I don't even know what the humidity is, probably about 80% things are sticking to things that should not stick to things. You feel me? You feel me? Anyway, we're going to get straight into the update. I have a few things for you. I have a lot of thoughts today. I have a lot of thoughts. Apologies if you've seen any of this recently. I haven't looked at my last video I did for you guys with an update in, so I'm not entirely sure what was in it. Oh, it's hot. So the first plant I want to update you on is this guy. Now I know I have given a lot of updates on this plant. This plant isn't necessarily a new thing to update you on. This is my Philodendron Golden Dragon Variegata. Keep it super short and sweet if you don't know what this plant is or you don't know how I came to get it. I actually got it for a really good deal. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I don't believe, and you guys will probably know this more than me, I don't feel like it had a ton of variegation when I bought it. I don't remember it being particularly strong, but it has actually gone from strength to strength. Because I know that this is one of an old leaf here and we've, had, we've definitely had some good years here and then it sort of went lower and then we had a bit of panic mode right here this is what i like to call panic mode and then we've gone beautiful so that is the update today the reason why i think these are priced weird and people don't like to maybe purchase these and i was the same is because they're very unstable they're not the best to propagate however what i will say is and i don't mean to make it sound like it's just me because it's not just me there will be plenty of people that propagate these well but the specimen i have is actually doing all right and i actually put that down to the petioles. Okay, so if I try and get up to the camera with you and show you some of these petioles, can you see that if you just look, if you can, it's going to try and focus on my face. But if you just saw the look at the spread of variegation across the petioles, it's very candy cane. It's not like one chunk and then nothing. And I actually think that's why I'm having success with this. Um, I have to check that with like other plants that I've got that are known for being unstable, but they're doing well. Because I do have Syngonium chiapensi as well. That should be unstable, but it's literally one of my best plants this year that I've bought in terms of actually making money on it. One of the best. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. This is looking beautiful. This, I would not want any more variegation than this on a given leaf. I prefer a bit less. So I'm happy to go 50% variegation, but I don't necessarily want a half moon. I've talked about this loads. I won't bore you. I don't dig half moons, probably for the reasons that I've just said to you. You tend to get um, petioles with a very like half and half variegation going down them. And what happens, in my opinion anyway, when you cut a half moon leaf, uh, you know, when you propagate a plant with half moons, most of the time is what you see here being, you know, half and half, just due to the way the nodes fall on the plant, a lot of the time you will then get a green leaf, a yellow leaf, a green leaf, a yellow leaf. So a little bit like what's happened here, essentially. This isn't good. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong, it's gorgeous, but it's not good. So that can happen a lot, and that is why I tend to not like them. I've got lucky with this one, and I honestly think it's the candy cane uh, petioles. So I'll show you that one more time, because I don't want to spend too much time on it. I feel like I've talked about this a lot, but if you just look, can you get a good look there? Yeah, don't get me wrong, there are big chunks, like on the back of this one here that actually doesn't have a lot on. The petiole itself, look, has a lot on, but I just think it's dispersed a little bit better so i think i've hit quite lucky with it and honestly this was a great deal this was a great deal next week's video you'll probably enjoy a lot it's basically house plants that i've had really good return on even despite the drop in sort of prices after covid and stuff like that honestly i probably put this one in it was um, but it's not in it, in this one. So yes, that is my Philodendron Golden Dragon. She is gorgeous. I do have propagations of her. This is just the head cutting that I let go. Basically, the rest of it is in one to two leaf cuttings. Uh, and they don't look as pretty as this. Obviously, they're one leaves and they're a bit, a bit gnarly, but that's her anyway. That's him. That's her. Whatever you want to, whatever you want to go with for that. And I'll just show you this because this is actually adorable as well. Oh, look at it. Oh. I'll put her down. Her? Maybe we're sticking with her. Who knows? And if I seem like I'm going a little bit quicker than usual, guys, it's nothing other than it's very hot in here and it's making me very conscious of how long I'm filming because after this video, I need to film another video and I will have to open up the unit and put those big shutters up and literally air the whole thing out for a good 10 minutes, bring the temperature back down because this place will not stay cool. And I think it's because all the concrete that you see behind me, it's holding all of the heat, all of the heat. It's literally 
to your greenhouse. So it's a bit of a struggle. So the next plant I want to show you, I don't even know if there's a proper name for this. I'm not entirely sure. But I wanted to show you it because I was very proud of it and I repotted it a while ago. And then Ben came home and chopped it after I'd repotted it and after it looked beautiful. And I was really upset about it. But it's grown back. And I just wanted to show you because it's quite pretty. So this plant here, you may remember it. There is a tag in this plant. And on one side, it says Plastazan and white. The other side, it actually says platinum. I'm pretty sure it's Philodendron SP platinum. Now, what this is not, and I would love one. So if anyone wants to sell one to me, let me know. Uh, it's not a Philodendron. Is it Silver Angel. That's not what it is. This is something slightly different. Arguably easier to get. Oh, I don't, I don't know who has these or doesn't. Again, I'm not saying it's rare. Just saying I have no idea who has these and who doesn't. Because I don't know if that's the proper name. I don't really know anything. I'd like to think you can tell on camera that's not super green. That is actually an off colour. So take this up to the camera. Oh, you must be able to tell. This leaf is newer, by the way. That's why it's a bit greener, but it should harden off to this sort of almost like skin daps to see tinty blue colour. It's really, really nice. It's not the same as Pastazan and White, actually. So this is the, what did I say it was? SP Platinum, I think. And this is Pastazanum white, which is basically some sort of pasta. It's obviously a hybrid of some sort, I think. And if you just look there, the leaves are quite silvery. I have held this up before. I have something sort of similar that's huge that grows in front of the living wall. I think I have in this shop, I have Pastazanum white and I have Pastazanum silver. And I'm going to be totally honest with you guys, I don't think I know the difference. They're labelled, but other than that. So yeah, just to quickly show you, oh, I'm going to drop liquor, quickly show you the difference between the two as best I can. That would be the difference between the two. So this is SP Platinum, the one I'm shaking. And this is Pastazanum. I'm going to assume it's Pastazanum white. I'm going to assume. But, I'll just pop this down. It's very, very cute. So it has sort of like a rougey catafil. The petioles, then, I mean, they're sort of rouge. They kind of harden off to a not quite green. I don't know. They're in it. They're really in between colour. But obviously, the main thing about this is those amazing leaves. And I really like this. I really like this. Is this the sexiest example? It hasn't had the best light. It hasn't been fed necessarily well because it's ice isolated from the rest of the trays, so it doesn't really get fed the same. Bit of a nightmare. I don't know why I do it, but it is quite cute. So if you can see there, that's where it got chopped. Can you see that here? That upset me immensely, but now it's back. So all I have to do is make sure Ben doesn't cut it, or I cut it when I would like to cut it. And I do have a couple of propagations from these. I think we've got about two or three more. So really this does need cut, but I think it would be nice to wait a little bit longer. And I know I did a propagation video recently, but what I would probably do in this situation while I have you is you see this pathetic, and I mean, I don't even know what excuse that is for leaf. I'd probably remove this because if I remove it, I get to see the cut there and I'll probably take that head cutting and it'll go beautifully. And because it is a crawler, or at least I think it is, I think it wants to crawl, um, it should be fine. So yeah, Philodendron, I believe it's still going as SP Platinum. Look at that. It is sexy though. I think it's sexy. Right, the next plant, I want to give you an update on. I, I don't I don't know what it is. This is truly the only no ID in this sort of video. Um, I, I don't know what it is, guys. Literally, you may remember it. I bought it as skin dap. Skin dap. I can't say it. I can't say it. Skin dapsus. Right? And it's very good, but it's gorgeous, by the way. And I think I do have one coming up for sale. By the time you see this, mm, it's probably not quite up for sale yet, just because I won't have got round to it. But it is essentially this bad boy. And it actually grows quite quickly because I've taken props from this. This proof is in the pudding. I took a propagation very recently, right there. But look how nicely this has grown. Look how nicely this has grown. So this is the mother, and I'm keeping this because, you know, half moons. Eh, it's not sure if I away. I do have down here somewhere. Oh, it's here. If you're looking for a fast and reliable way to create and run your own website, you should give Squarespace a try. Squarespace is an all-in-one solution for creating your own website from scratch using a variety of modern and sleek templates. They're really customizable so you can have a website that's unique to your brand in no time. I've used Squarespace now for well over a year for the Red Plant Shop and it's working really, really well for me. If you don't quite know where to start, you can always use the inbuilt wizard which will guide you towards the recommended templates for the kind of website you would like to make. Once you have your selected template, follow the instructions on screen and you'll be set up in no time. If you want to create a really sleek looking website, either for an online store or maybe you're working on your own blog, check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you very much, Squarespace. And back to the video. 
One that is actually for sale at some point very soon. And it is the same plant, but that is incredibly cute. It's a really nice one, that one. I didn't hold it up, I don't know why. I just feel like the internet likes half moons, right? Like, what's more photogenic to you? And I know there's always going to be someone that's like, yeah, literally this one. But that's more photogenic to most people than that is. That's There's nothing wrong with this, though. That is safer than this, if you want my opinion. I don't know if people want long vines. I don't know if they want two leafers. Like, I don't know what I don't know what people look for when they look for a vine. Answers on a postcard, if you know. But I, I don't know. I, I like to sell maybe two leaves, maybe three. But it just depends, doesn't it? But I want to show you this because it's very, very cute. Still don't know what it is. It's very... <sighs> sort of rubbery to be honest it's thick definitely meaty for a leaf but then again i think to be honest more skin are aren't they but just look at how pretty that is if you can't already tell obviously that's yellow variegation there and it roots for days so i've never removed it from the pot because she lazy but there is roots all around here as well so that's him he looking cute i literally i hate these i don't know why i've kept it in this but sometimes i just get a bit like oh if it's growing i'll just leave it I'll leave it till it gives me a problem so it sits actually in a tray just off camera here that you can't see and it sits in a tray that is the water level is lower because it has stuff or moss in it, so the wall was very low. Oh, I, you know what? I wasn't going to update on this, but I will. Why not? I will. Um, this sorry little thing, it needs chopped because you know what? It, it hasn't quite reverted, but near has done it. Do you remember this? What was this supposed to be? Pothos, apparently. Do you remember this? You will remember this, I'm sure some of you will. That's dribbling down my hand. Look, it's not fully reverted. Not fully, I promise. There's a bit of variegation on there, but generally speaking, it hasn't gone amazingly. So at some point, I will probably snippity snip. Or I could sell it in one go. It depends whether I want to grow it and keep it in the shop. And I've talked about this on videos before, but a lot of the time if I buy a plant in, it, it, it might just be sold as a one-off because it depends whether I like looking after it, whether I can propagate it, whether it does well in here. And that's the risk you take when you buy new things in, obviously. I have a good environment, but not. it doesn't mean that everything works for it because it doesn't. I have loads of stuff in here that just struggles. Some anthuriums even struggle in here. Do you know what I mean? It really depends. So this is one of the things I bought as a one-off because I thought, Ooh, okay, interesting. Um, and I don't know what to think yet. I'll probably cut it. And if it if it does this again, then maybe I'll just pass it on as it is. But yeah, that's that. I can't even tell you what it is. It says Pothos Split. So who knows? But pop him back in his little moss box. I think this could be the same skin as well here. There's another one that, to be honest, once that second leaf hardens, I can probably cut this one as well. More or less the same thing, pretty sure. Pretty sure I got quite a nice little spread of variegation and such things. I do have a longer one here that you probably may or may not be able to see in my hand. You might be able to see it. I've got a few bits and pieces anyway. I think that's it for skin dapsus. I've been selling these for a while. It's no secret or anything, but here we have Uden Spiritus. And I just want to show you that they're getting quite big. <laughs> they came to me probably about this size. So maybe about what? Two inches above the pot there like that. They're busting out now. They, they probably need upgraded root-wise at some point. But they're getting quite big. Like that's it's kind of getting there now. It's not really a small thing anymore. But I just it was very quick just to show you how well they're doing. Um I do sell them on and off here and there, probably sell a couple a week, no problem. Um, but it was more just to show you that they're getting bigger. If I could pull my big one down, I might be able to should we try? But this is the big one. If anybody wants to know what they look like mature, this isn't full maturity, don't get me wrong. But if you see that leaf there, it, it's getting there, that's for sure. Look at the lobes on this, by the way. Can we just literally look at those? Literally, it's longer than my fingers are, the lobes on this plant. It's lovely. So that is my mature philodendron spirit of sanctity. Very, very pretty. A lot of leaves, but like literally, there's, I don't know if you can tell. Bro, this is very difficult to do without uh, smacking my microphone. But you sh hopefully you can see there's, there's several growing points in there. There's basically three plants, so literally awesome. So we're going to pop him back. Right. It's getting hot, you know. <laughs> Let's pick something else up. Right. I've never officially put this plant on a video before, I don't think. I think I whopped it out at some point in a repot with me. Um, and I used it as an example of possibly bullshit names. So there might be a, not, not a rant, but the, there's a small discussion creeping in now. So 
I put this unofficially in on a report and it was to demonstrate a point of, oh, he is such and such. Is this bullshit? Is this, does this plan warrant a different name given to it? And honestly, I'm kind of here to tell you that I don't think it is. I've always told you that I will be honest with you about things like this. And I know a lot of people get at me for it because I also run a shop. I'm out here trying to be as honest as I humanly possibly can, okay? This here, right, I'll get to the point, I promise. This here is what is known. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? You know what? What do you think it is? Have a look. Closer look at the leaf. Notice that texture. Now, most of you are probably going to say that's a Monster Attire Constellation, and you'd be right. Some of you have probably said, hey, is that a creme brulee? As in a Monster Attire Constellation creme brulee? And you would be right, is what I'll say. This is what I bought them as. I think I have... Uh, maybe three or four more in this place because these are still in moss as well. They're very wobbly though. They, they need upgraded really. So I have a couple more of these and I've had these a while. And if you ever watch that repot with me in here, then you'll know I've had these a while. These have been sat there and I don't think they were this big either. I think they were probably maybe about that. So we're getting there now. So I feel like I've had them long enough to make an opinion. And my opinion is kind of that it's sort of bullshit. I'm just going to call bullshit. Now, you can agree with me if you like. You can disagree with me like. You can write a nasty comment if you like. I don't really care. It's just my opinion. It's just what I've got to go off in this shop, right? So my, my opinion is on this plant, and I have another plant to show you to compare, okay? My opinion is, I know that the creme brulee name is just given to something with high variegation. That's fine. I don't really believe we need to give it the name. I've said this before. When you give something a name, it makes people think, people that aren't like super eat, sleep, living, breathing plants, okay? Some people that just don't have like full on knowledge, they'll think it's a different plant, they'll try and buy it. Now, I know it's given to something with high variegation, but I don't think it's warranted because here's one of mine. They've had for a long time, by the way. Obviously, it's bigger, but I didn't pay the price for a creme brulee. Can you see any differences, guys? Obviously, there's a size difference, okay. But can you see anything else? Because I don't. I see a tie with a little bit more variegation. Now, I I wouldn't want to call it a creme brulee. If I was ever going to separate something like this in my shop because I wanted more money for it or everyone else was doing it and it was, you know, it was described differently in any other way, I would simply say it had vi high variegation. And I would have a listing for a tie constellation or I'd have a listing for a tie constellation with high variegation. I wouldn't really want to call it a creme brulee. Now, the problem I have as a seller right now I'm going to be totally honest with you. I'm also going to put this down because I'm dribbling on myself. So pop that down there. The problem I have as a seller is I'm boxed in here. Because if I don't call this a creme brulee, people probably don't realize that a tie with high variegation is the same as a creme brulee, right? So it's a little bit, I don't want to say it's frustrating, but it, it's kind of like, what do you do about it? And I would love to know your opinion on this. Like, What do you think sellers should be doing with things like this? Because I know we have fancy names for things like that. And it, it, it really went bad in COVID. And I know a lot of this, certainly in my opinion, and probably in a lot of other people's opinion, it's a bit of a sour taste in our mouths with the whole naming thing. Completely understand. But what would you do? Like, if I wanted to sell these, and I, I'm not in any rush to sell anything, because in my opinion, it's a tie with high variegation. But I paid a cost price for this, right? I didn't grow this here, obviously. I ordered this in. I paid a cost price for this. So... What what am I supposed to do with it? And I'm not really asking you, like, what literally do I do? Do you know what I mean? Because I probably will say it's a creme brulee or I will just say it's high variegation. That's kind of just because I'm boxed into it at this point. Do you know what I mean? Because that's just what they're selling by. If you don't say it is, no one knows it is. So what do you do? But I want to, and I will just hold this up very quickly, because I, I, I'll be honest, I really did want to rant about this because it's just like, oh, why? Why does it have to be this way? Can't we just say it's a such and such with high variegation? Don't we do that with variegated Monstera or pink princesses or any other stuff like that? Don't we already do that? Can't we just do that now? Like, I don't get it. Like, you've got to tell me. If I literally, if I held this up and told you it was a Thai creme brulee for people that know the plant, I think, personally, you'd go, yeah. I've had this, guys, since that dreaded batch of Thai that I had in, what, 2019? It's still one of the dreaded batch. It's still one of the dreaded batch. Which just tells me that this can happen to anybody's Thai. Because being cut a couple of times, don't know if you can tell, really hard to uh, hold this up right now. Hopefully you can see a little nodule at the bottom there where it has been cut. So it hasn't forever necessarily done this. But the point is they all can because it's chaotic and it's it's stable variegation in the way that it's not going to suddenly revert. I've never heard of one reverting. But do you know what I mean? It's 
it's chaotic in the patterns that you get and the, the amount of variegation and everything else. You should always get the little speckles in, but everything else is kind of up to, you know, whatever. So honestly, I want your opinion on this because to me, this is the price of a tie. If I chose to sell it that way, of course, this is a creme brulee if I chose to sell it that way, of course. These won't be for sale for some time. I don't personally see the point. You never say never, but for now, I'm quite content with them the way they are. I do think they need repotted before they get sold because I want to make sure the root system is maybe strong enough to hold it in a pot anyway. It should be. I've literally had them. Ooh, have I had them three months or more? I've had them a long time, I think. But yeah, so I just want to show you that. That is absolutely, for complete clarification, not a creme brulee. That's just a tie. That's just a tie. And it's very cute, actually. I might have to sell that. That is actually quite cute. It's not the most perfect looking specimen on planet Earth, but it's quite cute. I think that would be quite nice. Let me know what you think about that. I'm going to pop this back. The next thing I have to show you is... <sighs> So exciting. It's so exciting. Uh, so y'all know that in 2021, I bought an Anthurium Delta Force and I have been snippity snipping it. I'm looking at the mother here right now. I wanted to pick it up, but it's got seeds hanging off it and I don't want to disturb it because the flower with the seeds on is now bowing right down below the plants. I just don't want to jinx it. I don't want to touch it. The seeds aren't quite ready yet. So I'm gonna leave that there. But I've got a couple of Delta Force that I've been propagating. And I just wanted to show you because I have enough now ready to sell and I'm very happy about it. Now that's not to say I haven't had the odd cutting go up because I think I have. I think I might've had a butt cut go up on the internet at some point and then I've had a two leafer a while ago go up but I now have two different sorts of sizes because I sort of I wanted to grow some out and make sure they were true to type obviously obviously um so I have this little size here he's so cute look at it have a few that are round about this size. Just want to show you there that he is true to type. I will just quickly stand to the side to make it easier for me. Put a picture in of Anthurium Delta Force with a mature leaf so you can see what this turns into if anybody's in any doubt. But this is my beautiful little baby Delta and they are totally true to type. I haven't had any so far that are not. So he is cute. He should hopefully be on the website now if you're interested. I'm saying this now. I need to confirm it with Ben, but I think USA might be open for it. I can't remember. So I'm very sorry if I've said that and it's not happening. Um, but I have that and then I have... Oh, do I have literally like one that's the biggest size? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's here. It's in here. I have like two more that are a bigger size. Here, I have two more that are a slightly bigger size here. This one's flowering. Do I have any more that are flowering? Uh, let's have a look. I've just sold one recently, very recently, uh, that was flowering. This one in particular is flowering. And as you can see there, which is the nicest one. Yeah, the newest leaf basically, but isn't the one developing. They're coming out totally true to type and they are absolutely stunning. And I'm so proud of them because I've waited so long as well. I've waited so, so, so long. So I'm super happy about these. If you check the website, if you're interested, they should be up, I do think. I wanted to have a few other things up for sale for you by the time this went live. Honestly, the heat in this place has stopped me from working in here. I've got a lot done behind me. Don't know if it looks any different, but it should be at least tidy, I suppose. Um, I've got a lot done, but the heat has, it's genuinely stopped me. Like I could be in here now to film, but it's just too hot to do any manual stuff. Does that make any sense? You just, you couldn't do it. Like a lot of the time I've been lifting um, containers up and down and it gets very hot and sweaty, which is fine, but in this temperature, I can't do it. So yeah, that's him. Look how pretty he is though. Look. God, I love this plant. Even the little baby leaf, I'll try and show you it without touching too much. Cause it's gonna be somebody's plant. There we go. So cute. But yeah, this one has a flower on it. Oh, you know what? I think there is a flower coming out one as well so i've got a few things but yeah everything's kind of flowering at the minute it's the heat it's activated some stuff i'm in that great period where you can't be in here but everything's growing absolutely beautifully so every cloud i guess you could say so i'm really really happy about that absolutely buzzing so yeah that is it for this video thank you so much for watching please leave your opinion on the whole creme brulee thing i know i've asked it before sort of but i know it's in a report and i know not everyone likes those videos so let me know what you think because at the end of the day i have a creme brulee i have a normal one it's the same shit one cost me what twice as much as the other i don't know answers on a postcard so if you like this video please leave a like down below it lets me know that i do content that i guess you enjoy and if you're not already subscribed i would absolutely love to have you here. Thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you in the next one and I think you're gonna like the next one. Bye!